here again. It's a new Sunday. A reminder: if you have purchased a membership of my channel, please don't forget to tell me your email address. I will send a word template to you so that you could share your five questions with me. You can always find my contact below in description. Both WhatsApp and mail are super fine. Today, I'm going to share several tips in laser cutting, which probably will be helping to enhance the cutting efficiency. If you are first time being here, please click the subscribe button and give me your like. It will help me out a lot. Let's get started. In the previous videos, I shared six useful functions to better up the cutting process. If you haven't checked it. Please click the video up here. It's quite useful. As you know, the default system should be subcut. Please compare to the similar functions if you use else. The first one we'll say is the frog lip lift. It's an option function, which means we have the choice to use it or not. The function is located at the global parameters. Follow control, we can see there is an option showing frog lip lift. For example, let's say we want to cut two small circles, A and B. The cutting head should be moved from A to B, and the laser should be turned off during the movement. In the process of movement from A to B, the machine is only moving mechanically and doesn't perform any tasks, which we call idling. If we do not choose the frog lip lift option, the trajectory of the cutting head should be to complete three actions in turn, ascending to a sufficiently safe height, moving, reaching above point B, and descending. When we check the function of frog lip lift, we can change the three actions completed in turn to simultaneous completion which can shorten the empty travel time. When the cutting head moves from A to B, it rises at the same time. When approaching point B, it forces at the same time. The trajectory of the empty movement is like an arc drawn by a frog jumping. Frog leap lift can be regarded as an understanding technological progress in laser cutting machines. The second is Find Edge. It's located at CNC. What is it used for? As shown here, when the sheet metal is placed on the workbench, skilled, it may cause waste when cutting. If the tilt angle and the region of the sheet metal can be sensed, the cutting process can be adjusted to suit the angle and position of the sheet metal, thus avoiding waste. The function of finding edge will help us to do the job. The following clip is from my videos of subcut tutorials. It shows the details of finding edge. Please go check in this series if you haven't seen them yet. Let's go to CNC. First is find edge. Click the icon, we can get the parameter setting box. When we are trying to use the capacitive find edge, three steps to go. First, we need to input the sheet physical size and the margin we want. Second, the strategy to find edge. If the plate we are cutting is thin, we suggest the six point find edge. The precision will be much higher. Third, to choose the start point. Attention here, no matter which way we choose, please make sure there is mental plate under the cutting head, which means the cutting head is within the plate space. A start from preset position enables to find edge from a fixed position. We can find the suitable position from the directions here and save it as the start position to find edge. Attention here! Before finding edge, we need to make sure first one go a region. 
Second, the placement angle of mental plate should be less than ten relative to the machine x y axis. Third, the cutting head could follow normally. Detail sighting here enables to adjust some default parameters, but please be cautious to change them. We suggest the default values. After you enable the find edge, the cutting head starts from the point we set and automatically mirrors the targeted points on the two vertical sides of the metal sheet. And the inclination angle and origin point of the metal sheet will be calculated by the system. In this way, we could increase the cutting efficiency and eliminate the step to move a workpiece which could be weigh as much as hundreds of kilograms. The third we'll talk is the concentrated perforation. Centralized perforation, also known as pre-perforation, when cutting thicker plates, the cutting process goes through two stages. First, perforation. Second, cutting. Let's say we need to cut those two rectangles, A and B. When cutting A, we'll go pierce first and then cut A, and then goes to B, pierce first and then cut. It's without the centralized piercing. If we do all the piercing processes on the entire plate in advance and then go back and perform the cutting process, that is what we call the centralized piercing. Why use the centralized piercing? What are the benefits? It's helping to avoid overburning. During the perforation of thick plates, heat accumulation is formed around the perforation point and overburning occurs immediately after cutting. Using the centralized perforation process, when all the perforations are completed, the first overburning at the first start point is avoided because there is sufficient time to dissipate heat. It could increase processing efficiency, especially for the lasers with a manual cutting head. The nozzle head for perforation is higher than cutting. In conversional processing, in order to ensure cutting quality and efficiency, the focus of the laser beam can only be manually adjusted to the optimal position according to the needs of cutting. Therefore, the focus of the piercing mustn't be in the optimal position and the piercing time will be longer. However, by centralized piercing, the focus can be adjusted to the position suitable for the perforation, and after the perforation is completed, the machine is paused, and then the focus position is adjusted to the best position required for cutting. In this way, the piercing time can be reduced by more than half, greatly increasing efficiency. However, Concentrated piercing is also risky. If a collision occurs during the cutting process, causing the position of the plate to change, the part that has not been cut may be scrapped. The last one is the macro joint. The sheet metal is supported by jagged supported strips. The cap port, if it's not large enough, it cannot be supported. It may falling down, which is not the worst, or lose its balance, which will show a potential accident to collide with the first cutting head. The possible collision can be avoided by using the macro joint. It will connect the cap part to the surrounding material. The following clip is also coming from the tutorials of SubCAD. When we are going to cut a long rectangle like this, if we cut directly, normally the cut will exhibit a caulking at one side and then influence the travel path of the cutting head. So we can add the macro joints on both lines to avoid such conditions. At the macro joint, we can see there will be a tiny part that the laser beam is closed. We can add the macro joints automatically or manually. 
plus the shift key, we can delete the macro joint by clicking it. That's all our today's topic. Please let us know in the comments if you had any questions. I would like to discuss with you. Please stick around to check another video if you still have the time. I will see you next Sunday here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye. Last step is to click the link below and get a trip to Clara's store. You could find what you want. See you there. Bye.